does anyone notice the chair cushion covered in the blue blanket? My life coach, Jenny, helped me put this over my chair because the leather was peeling off and it was ripping off and I was sitting on it because of my feet and I came up with a solution with Jenny last week and she managed to come up with a solution and I had this blanket laying around in that corner over there as you can tell I have my blanket stacked up and Jenny came up with this idea because I didn't like the feeling of it. It was just like ripping like this. This is a good example of what my chair was looking like, but it was on the bottom of my chair right there. So um, we picked up all of these. It was peeling like a snake and then we threw, threw it away. So this is just a temporary solution because I didn't like the feeling of it. It was rough and then some of the spots were like kind of like sticky because of the friction that was on my body when I was sitting on it. So we wrapped it like a burrito. It was just like one side, another side, one side, another side. And we pressed it very firmly against the chair like this. And Jenny was an expert at this. Oh my gosh, I love that she helped me. She is very creative and she uses her brain in different ways that I can't use my brain like this so she came up with a solution and it is so soft i love sitting on this now it's been like this for five days now and i love the cushiness of it and the softness of it so i am in the middle of trying to know what to do because i still think this chair is in good condition besides the arms this arm is beginning to wear um, especially this arm right here. So I want to just be prepared and buy a new chair just in case I need to in a year or like six months or like whenever. I'm not in a rush, but this ottoman is still in great condition because I wear, um, no shoes, no feet sometimes, but I put my phone right here and then I think that my computer is just on this ottoman all the time. So it's all clean and all in good condition but just the bottom of my chair right here that I sit in is not looking that well so I think I just want to upgrade my chair soon I am going to start furniture shopping to look at chairs and get a idea of what I want this chair lasted a long time it's still in good condition but I just want to get prepared I got this chair four years ago and I spent at most $350 for this set, for the ottoman and the chair. And I like this, and I am glad I picked this out because I wanted a leather chair that was just easy to clean and just was just comfy to sit in, and it's still in great condition, but I just know um, I just want maybe something a little bit bigger because I sit with my feet up, and it's a bit hard to... Um, like get a lot more comfier in this chair so i usually sit in my chair like this so that's why there's like an imprint right here and an imprint right here um because i watch my youtube or i'm on my computer so i'm just like okay that's why this friction and sticky because when i peeled it off it was not it was worn down to the um piece so that's why I sit like this most of the time. Usually, I, most of the time I use this too, but I just wanted to just show you guys how I sit in this chair because it's a way that I sit in this chair that really wears down the cushion in different spots. So yeah, and it's kind of tight. You can see that I'm kind of restricted. So I maybe want something a little bit more comfier. It is comfy, but it's not like, I'm slouching, so I feel like, oh, maybe a recliner, recliner or maybe just a bigger chair would be more comfy. But I knew buying this chair that I would be in this tiny chair. It's comfy, but it's not like what I wanted, but it fits my room. So I just wanted to show you that. And I got this chair from Ikea. 
and yeah i just love it it looks so perfect especially with the blue blanket over it blue is my favorite color so um it is lasting and looking in good shape so i don't know there was a little update on my chair situation but eventually i'll try and look for a newer chair at least because i don't want it to fall apart and not have a backup plan for it so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video